walked in to a honky tonk the other night down in New Orleans. Up above the bar hung a big guitar like none I'd ever seen. The neck was set with diamonds, and although the strings were old, like kings of sound, they wound around six keys of solid gold. A man stepped up beside me, his breath was strong with wine. He said, that guitar once belonged to a real close pal of mine. He used to play it right here. I forget the year, about 45, I think. I could tell you quite a story, pal, if you'd care to buy me a drink. Well possessed by every weakness that makes a man a fool. I bought a round, he drank it down, and he leaned back on his stool. He said, I remember now. It was 45, all right. He just returned from the Great War. That's where he lost his sight. His buddies gave him that guitar. At the time, it was simple and plain. He added the gold and the diamonds as he played his way to fame. He was doing a show in Shreveport on the night that he received the call to come up here on the Grand Ole Opry, the greatest show of all. I was driving him to Nashville. It was cold and misting rain. The signals flashed and the whistles blew. I swear, mister, I never saw that train. I heard the doctor tell him just after he'd used his knife. Your lucky son was only your arm. Could have been your life. But he died that night. Life just demanded more than he could give. I think he could have made it. He just lost his will to live. But this world's loss is heaven's gain. For tonight, he's still a star. He plays with a band of angels. That's my son's golden guitar.